Let's face it, designer fashion is in the dumps. Just last week, Neiman Marcus said it lost $668 million in the year. So now designers are facing a conundrum as they present their spring 2010 collections. How do you inspire consumers when it seems that no one is in the mood to shop? I'll tell you what, it's such a difficult time for retailers now. And I feel as though if you're going to make it or if you're going to make it through to the next kind of phase, you need to be more self-sufficient. I'm working my way towards obscurity. I'm working so that I can just go away and just sit in a room somewhere and like be insane. Isaac Mizrahi has seen his share of ups and downs. He was once a high-flying designer until a sour economy forced him out of business in 1998. Since then, he's reinvented himself as a designer of clothes for the mass market. First in a deal with Target, and now for Liz Claiborne. And this has enabled him to slowly rebuild his high-end collection. He just opened up his first store on the Upper East Side. I went to my psychic, Maria Napoli, and I said, oh my God, like what's happening to the world? It's falling apart. And she said, darling, find a shop off Madison Avenue, go for it, do it. And that's what I did. It's a little jewel box stocked with fur trim slides and bright tartan blouses from Mr. Mizrahi's outstanding fall collection. So now he does high and low, and come December, he'll be introducing yet another collection selling everything from fashion to housewares to cheesecake on QVC. This has led some critics to wonder if he's not spreading himself too thin. Somehow, like if you're a fashion designer and you have a million stores, that's okay. People don't think, oh, he's juggling a lot of things. For me, improvisation and feeling a moment and actually expressing myself is very important. Do you know what I mean? So it's like when I get the ball and throw the ball, I do great. You know, when I ponder and I strategize too much, it somehow doesn't work that well for me. Do you know what I mean? And, um, and I take criticism for that, and that's just fine. That's who I am. Not everything Mr. Mizrahi touches turns to gold. His reinvention of the Liz Claiborne label has lingered on the sales floor of stores like Macy's since it was introduced last spring. The stores actually complained it was too colorful and too fashionable for their customers. Mr. Mizrahi believes the stores are wrong, blaming the weak sales on the recession. If suddenly people stopped eating and you said, okay, that's it, you're not getting anything but peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for the rest of your life because that's all I can afford to make you people, you know what I mean? They'd probably just go somewhere else where they were actually serving ice cream and cake, you know? So that's what I do. I just keep making more and more ice cream and cake for people to eat because I never lose interest in that, never. On Thursday, Mr. Mizrahi will be serving up his next dessert. You can watch it live at IsaacMizrahiNY.com.